Hi, this is Kumail Raza from datavisuals.com. This is our fourth video on data analytics and visualization. And we'll be talking about quick navigation within Power BI pages of single report. The use case. A lot of times the user don't get to know the content of other pages within the report unless navigated to that page. Uh, let's see this example. Now uh, this report has five pages, but I don't know what are the content of the other pages. I have to navigate it to see. This is the second page, the third page, the fourth page, and the fifth page. However, you see that the navigation takes a lot of time and this is in series. However, if, if we directly want to navigate to third page or fourth page, we can't do it. We have to go through the series. Now, with the bookmarks feature, we can navigate directly to the page with ease and just a single click. See this. I directly navigated to, to the first page. This was the aerial view. I want to move to the light page. I directly navigated to that page. If I want to move to grayscale page, I directly navigated to, to the grayscale page. So see, this is quite simple and very quick. With this bookmarks, we also get to know a little more details about the content of that page. For example, the fifth page has map road. It's a road view of the map. Third page has a light view of the map. The second page has a dark view of the map. And it's all get very easy. Now let's see how it can be done. This is Power BI desktop. And let's begin from the start. I've already created the report and let's move to the ADLV of the report. In the desktop, we have these tabs with the names appearing at the bottom of the page. And we, we can easily navigate through these tabs. However, on the report, you can see unless there, there are bookmarks, we cannot navigate directly to the required page. And this is where these bookmarks become very handy. How we can add these bookmarks we have to go to the view menu and from there we have to select bookmarks pane. Once selected, we get this type of a pane and here we can add new bookmark. Now when our bookmark is created, it is actually created on the page that we are viewing. We can rename it. Generally, the best practice is to rename the bookmark according to the name of the page that you have given. I named it as map Arial. I've already added it and then I move to second page. I created another bookmark and renamed it to map dark. So this is the page that bookmarks refers to. Similarly, I created other bookmarks and this is, you, saw, you see that quite easy. For example, I want to add another bookmark to this page and I want to rename it to map ADU2 and this is done. Now, the second step is to select the image or the button that you want to link to the bookmark. Once you selected that, this is an image that I've added. Now, once it is selected, I will have to go to action menu and select and turn it on. Once turned it on, I have to select the type and I have to refer it to bookmark and then select the bookmarks to which it refers to. This is the map aerial view and this bookmark needs to be referring to map aerial. It should navigate to map aerial view. So I select map aerial. I can turn, I can delete this second bookmark because this is not required. And once it is selected, it is done. I can easily navigate it. Like I can easily navigate it to, to that specific page. Now selecting the second image. Selecting the type as bookmark, selecting the actual bookmark for this image to refer to, this is mark, map dark, and done. Similarly, we are going to go do this for the for rest of the bookmark. Once it is done, you need to check out that it's working perfectly. So how can we check it? Just click on any of the bookmarks selected and it will navigate to the page. Like I selected map grayscale and you see that this book page become active. So it means I've done Perfect. After doing this, we need to publish this. I've already published this on web. So I'll show you here. These are all the sample reports that I've created. I've taken the demo of this report. Here it is. Now these bookmarks are appearing and whenever I select to any bookmark map dark view, it, it directly navigates to, to that view and actually it is navigating it to that page. 
on full screen you see it's quite simple and very uh, powerful i hope you enjoyed it and if you know anyone who would find this video useful don't forget to share it and subscribe to youtube facebook and twitter accounts boom thank you